Because you were being rude. How do people how do people be, be rude to other people? How are people rude to other people and then not expect a reaction? Welcome back to my channel, guys. We are about to get into another episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Drama. <laughs> Drama. Listen, she was at work. Why? She told you what time to be there. Why am I calling? Grown people. I don't know why they're mad. They're mad. It's not that I don't know why they're mad. They're mad just because they want to be mad. They just want to start a problem. She was at work. She told them to be there at 9.30. 9.30, the bus was leaving. And if you don't show up, you're left behind. She making a big deal about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. She all went and got food without asking her guests if they wanted food. Like, come on. You, girl, stop. Like, Kenya, don't don't start. Don't start. Because y'all know I don't like Kenya. But right now, she's just being unreasonable. She was at work. She told y'all the night before to show up at 9.30. Nobody showed up at Marlo. Why do I need to remind you that I'm going to work? First of all, why did she leave Marlo in charge of this trip? <laughs> Marlo is not friends with anybody on this trip. And why is she kissing up Sheree? Like, what? I, I understand that she's trying to keep peace, but yo, nah. They knew they needed to be at a certain place at a certain time. Why weren't they there? Because you were being rude. How do people how do people be, be rude to other people? How are people rude to other people and then not expect a reaction? She was building a relationship with Sheree. She tried to build a relationship with you and you were being rude. Stay home. Listen, the isolation is real with Marlo. Like, I can't even fault them. Like, your bad behavior shouldn't be rewarded. That's just real sad. All of that. Y'all going on the river, you went to the beach, you went to eat barbecue food, you went to eat Jamaican food, poolside. Why does she need all of that? Listen here, child. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. So now she's intimidated because she's by herself? Listen, I can't with this fake and phoniness. Like, Kenny gotta go. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. Because if that was Mark and Mark stood up to defend her honor, she would be smiling and so proud and all that other stuff. Like, get out of here. Like, it's not our fault you got a divorce. Like, what? Gosh. The man told you not to talk to his wife any type of way. Plain. If he swears at you, Swear back. <laughs> like, how you gonna attack the man's wife in front of him and not expect him to react? Like, that's just dumb. Maybe your man would do that, but that's just dumb. That's just dumb. Sheree needs to sit down and tell her she's wrong. Kenya's wrong. She's just going on and on and on. It's like every season she tries to find some person to bully because what is happening here? Like, gosh. Like, I'm just, I'm irritated right now. <laughs> you know, I don't know what Marlo needs right now. I'm confused as to what she wants out of this friendship with the group. Like, you share something, and but when they call you on it, you get defensive. Like, I don't... You know, I don't know why... I don't know why people like Kenya. I mean, she has good qualities, bad qualities, all the same. But the thing for me is, every season, there's always a moment where she tries to to dominate one specific person, and I guess now she's zoning in on Sonya. But she was rude. You're getting mad at a husband for defending his wife. That's number one. And then you're getting mad that you didn't go to something that you really didn't want to go to. Like, I just don't understand why she's making a big deal. Like, she's trying to talk to her, and she's making faces, she's doing all that stuff is irritating. It is just like, it makes no sense. If you didn't want to go on a trip, don't show up. She called you to tell you that it was a couple's trip. You didn't even let her finish and you hung the phone up on the girl. And she's still being nice and friendly to you. Yo, you hang the phone up on me. You can't call my phone again. <laughs> I told, like, you can't. You can't call my phone again. There's no conversation. That's rude. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're getting mad that you're divorcing or divorced and everybody else has a couple. Like... That's not anybody else's fault. Like, if you're bitter, jealous, angry, whatever, that is cool. If you feel some type of way that other people have their significant others around, that's also okay. 
But to be this person, I just can't, yo. This see, the, Atlanta gotta go. <laughs> like, gotta go. Why she always want to tell people to be quiet, yo? Like, is she talking to Brooklyn? Is that how she talks to her child? Because it's not giving. Over chicken? Mm-mm. <laughs> Over food? Child, no. <laughs> I cannot. Is this Tyrone? Is this Tyrone? Because where's Tyrone? <laughs> like, where's Sheree's man? Like, honestly, listen, you've seen how I felt about this. You already know how I feel. And we're not going to make this long, okay? That's it. I hope you enjoy. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's cool. Like, it doesn't matter. I already said it. <laughs> but I'll see you back here for another one.